Right, okay people, so you want to know whether or not it's possible to use a mobile phone to test your cam belt tension as opposed to the very expensive TTC tool that Texa make. Um, so I've got a Galaxy Note 10, which is obviously a high-end smartphone, pretty much as high-end as it'll go, and I've got a Blackview something or other that I bought off Amazon for £99 SIM free, it's running Android something or other, I just use it as a dashboard on my EMTB. Um, so I'm going to do a comparison between the Note 10, this cheapy phone and the proper Ducati cam belt tool. Um, I'm going to use an app called, it's called Spectroid I think, hang on I'll find it for you. Okay, the app I'm going to use is called Spectroid. I'll try and do a um, screen share from my phone so you can see it in a little bit more detail. That seems to be the, the app of choice for a lot of people, so I'm going to compare this app with the CamChain tool. I've got a Ducati Multistrada. Uh, it's a DVT engine. Um, I've just done some cam belts on it. There's a video um, already online for that. There'll be a link in the... Um, in the what's it in the description down below if you want to know more about doing cam belts on a Ducati with variable valve timing. This is a separate little video though, just compare these and see what the results are. I'm not saying you can do it or you can't do it, I'm just going to show you the evidence and you can make your own mind up. Right, to the bike. Right, so here's the lovely Multistrada, just had its belts done. They're all tensioned so I'm going to use the Texa tool as the reference, because this is obviously the the gold standard, if you like. Um, so we have got we get in that ninety hertz, which is exactly what they should be. Right. So let's move over now to the Galaxy Note Ten running Spectroid. I'll try and do a screen share so you can see the app in a little bit more detail. I'm not sure I can do a screen share on my Mickey Mouse, um, my Mickey Mouse phone, my cheap £99 Amazon phone, but we'll see. Yeah, I can do a screen share on here, so I'll do that. So, it's a little bit fiddly, so you've got to get it in a position where you can... And we can see on the spectrum, spectrum analyzer a little bright spot around the 90 hertz mark. So the way to do this is to strum it and then pause it at exactly the right point. And we have got 88 hertz. Let's just see if that's a repeatable measurement. Whoops. Yep, 88 hertz again. So that's the expensive smartphone, the Note 10. Right, I'll move over onto the the cheapy. I'm not sure whether or not I can. No, I, I know I can't share a, a screen on this one. Right, which end is the microphone in that end? Right, okay, so. See what we get with this one. Do 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 do. Get it so I can hit the pause button. Eighty-eight hertz. I'm not sure this is going to come out on camera. Um, but yeah, I've got the. It don't seem to have the resolution with this phone. Let's try one more time. But it's repeatable. It's 88 hertz. Let's just go back to the expensive Texa tool. It's changed slightly because I've been plucking on it. If, I, if you know what these belts are like to do, the wind changes direction and you get slightly different readings. 87 hertz. So very comparable readings. What I will say is 
the expensive phone I seem to have a bit more resolution and it's a more defined waveform for some reason I guess the mics are better quality possibly I thought about maybe using an, an external mic but I don't really have time to um, to mess around doing that I just wanted to share this bit with you uh, what's my conclusion so my conclusion is um, I think it's doable what I would say about having the proper tool is it's very quiet in the workshop here and if you were in a noisy workshop environment the noise floor would be so high that you just you'd never you'd never get to see you know you'd never get to see it's it's such a what is it low decibels what is it it's 37 db so it's a not not much of a sound so if you're in a noisy environment the noise floor would be higher than that and you just you'd never get to see it whereas this tool will work just it works instantly and it's really repeatable yeah if you're doing it professionally on a daily not daily basis but on a weekly basis like i am having the proper tool is a no-brainer but you know for those one-off jobs maybe you get away with using your phone anyway that's for you to decide hope this was interesting guys something i've wanted to share for a long time right catch you on the on the next one the link for the whole of this job doing this dvt valve um cam belt job is in the description down below um what is it they say at the end of the youtube videos like subscribe and all that whatever i hope you enjoyed it take it easy